Hey guys, it's Nelly Grizzly Outdoors. So I'll go over some Glock holsters I've been working on lately. I've been making quite a few for myself and then uh, some customers here and there. I made one for the Crimson Trace Light Guard. This is in the Urban Camo. A nice uh, body hugging design here. The inch and a half belt loops on it. And I also do the uh, the thumb cutout. When I uh, I can either do the full sweat guard. I prefer it down farther. So when I get a full firing grip on the gun, I'm not grabbing kydex with my thumb when I come out. It's just the way I prefer it. And I typically like to do about half on the mag, just to get protected. But if I have to, I can still pull the mag out without pulling the gun out. This one's a little less than half, but I don't do that typically on customer's holsters. This is why I like it though. This is the 80 thousandths, or the 0 .08 thousandths Kydex. I found that's pretty decent as far as stiffness. But it holds the gun real nice. Another feature I do, you can see there's kind of a swoop on the top and a flat spot. So if it's a rack or slide, you're not sliding off or something like that. You got a good solid spot to cycle your gun on. Here we got one in desert. This is for the plain Glock without the without the light. This one's not finished yet, but it needs to be finished, buffed, and then belt loops put on it. This is one I made for myself again before I got the light guard. And then we've got, this is my wife's, the pink one. Again, you got the nice flat spot for cycling your side. Adjustable belt loops here. Good curvature to fit the body. Uh, these holsters conceal really well. I really like this style holster. It snugs it up really good. This one's got a little more curve because she's smaller. And she's got the thumb. Her thumb is smaller, so it's not down as far as what mine would be. And then on her, she's got the the big uh, uh, slide release from Ghost, so I have a bigger channel for it, so it's not rubbing. And then I took my crossbreed style holster, which is in the house or my crossbreed holster. I took the clips off my crossbreed and I got some leather and made a uh, inside the waistband for my uh, light guard. This has been fairly comfortable. I'm not too happy with the leather. I like the uh, the leather on the, on the uh, crossbreed a lot better. It's just a softer leather. I may actually end up pulling this kydex off and putting it on the other on the other leather. I do like the clips better from crossbreed so I've switched those out for me anyway, I, uh, I like, I think I have a set here. I did anyway. I do like these style clips if you're going to carry it around past like in the 4 o'clock position. But I carry mine pretty much right at the 3 o'clock, right on my side, right under my arm. So this belt loop is pretty far forward. It's actually kind of... If I bend my knee, you can see where it starts bending up. So even on the crossbreed, I've cut all those out. Especially the front one, you can see how much shorter it is. Just so my knee doesn't hit it, or my leg. And then I cut a little more than what the crossbreed is here. The, and crossbreed is swooped a little bit. This allows me to get a good, good grip on the gun. So pretty close. Definitely functionable. I left this down a little farther for my threaded barrel when I put it on. I need to take a little more out of here yet, but it's kind of a work in progress. I'm going to show you all my Glock holsters since I've been doing quite a few of those. Different camo patterns. 
This is the one I've been wearing quite a bit um, in classes, and then even concealed carry and open carry. Uh, this is very comfortable. I really like the way this turned out. I got a nice, nice big finger groove in here. I don't like to grab Kydex when I go for my gun. I like to be able to get my hand in there and just really, really get on it without digging my hand into Kydex. I've had some other ones. That one won't fit in there. I had some other ones that just barely clear and you really, you jam your finger in when you go for a fast draw. So, hope this uh, helps somebody. Show you some different uh, holsters that I've been doing. I can do, uh, right now I can do Glocks, Walter uh, P22, the LCP, the Bodyguard, and that is it for now. I've actually gotten rid of quite a few other guns besides Glocks. That's what I've been carrying. I can do uh, the 19, the 23, the bigger Glocks here. And the shorter ones too, as long as it's not the 45 caliber, the fatter frames. I don't have any mold for that yet. I've got all the standard, um, standard size Glocks, if you want to call them that. And these even fit without the light guards, so pretty decent. So you don't even need to have the light guard on it for just carrying with the light guard. Use the same holster. And then also at the range, we uh, did a lot of drawing from holster, probably about 400 rounds from the holster. And the only wear spot is a little on the crimson or on the crimson trace here. Not a lot on the front, just kind of on the back side. But the slide, nothing really there. So. Alright guys, want to show you those? Thanks for watching.